The impact of the Queen's death is only starting to be felt. People are remembering her legacy, especially those in London. It just so happens, Eyewitness News morning anchor Jim Donovan is on vacation in England, and when he heard of the Queen's passing, he traveled to Buckingham Palace. It's been several hours since Buckingham Palace announced the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, and crowds continue to appear behind me at the palace gates to pay their respects. The palace made the announcement shortly after 6.30 this evening. Um, the queen uh, passing away, her son Charles, uh, King Charles III in Balmoral, uh, Scotland right now, will be coming back to the palace tomorrow with his wife, Camilla, the queen consort, to address the nation, to meet with the new prime minister, and also hold a service at St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, the mood here is somber. Occasionally in the background you'll hear some cheers, hip, hip, hooray, God save the king, God save the queen. Uh, on my way here to Buckingham Palace, I met with a cab driver who was taking me to the train station. And as I was paying him, he looked at the currency, the money that I handed him, and he said, now they're going to have to change that. Her face has been on our dollar bill or our pound note for 70 years. Um, as he uh, uh, was handing me his luggage, he said, God save the king, uh, something that I hadn't thought of before. But anyway, at this point, uh, no word on the funeral arrangements for the queen, but tomorrow, again, uh, the new King, King Charles III, will be back here in London. I'm Jim Donovan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.